welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie. If you're new and if you're not, welcome back to another video. I'm excited because I'm going to be filming a little weekly vlog. I filmed one of these about three weeks ago, I think like end of September, and you guys seem to really like it. So I figured why not do another little weekly vlog. I work from home. If you're not new to my channel, you probably know this, but I work from home as a social media marketing manager. So throughout the day from nine to five, I'm working. So there's not like a ton to film, but I feel like in the evenings I cook a lot and I work out lots in the morning and just kind of like always have a productive morning before I start work. So if you're gonna be fun to just kind of like take you guys through my week again, so you can kind of see like a real week in my life instead of just like weekend vlogs. I try to switch up my content so you guys have a lot of like variety. So there's like more fun stuff on the weekends that we're doing, like my last video when we were out of town, or just like things that are going on, but then also just showing like real day in the life content because I know as like a viewer myself, I love watching that kind of content because it's super relatable to me and it just makes me feel like inspired and motivated. So anyways, welcome back. Subscribe if you guys are not already. It's Monday morning, 10.54 a.m. and I've just been sitting at my desk working since around nine and I have a meeting at 11 o'clock that I have to jump on actually. I woke up really early this morning because we were out of town yesterday and we were out of town the whole weekend and so I we didn't get home until like super late last night so I didn't do any of my Sunday reset so I woke up at like 5 30 this morning and went to the gym and just did like my whole Sunday reset in like two hours which was a lot but I have work today obviously so I had to like get things done before nine o'clock but I did it I went to the gym I went grocery shopping I restocked restocked the fridge I did laundry I went and got my car washed and I cleaned and like vacuumed the inside because we took my car and so it's just been um a lot but it was good I got a lot done so welcome back hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I have a lot of unboxings to show you guys too so I actually received everything yesterday but I waited until I started this vlog to show you because I feel like you guys like unboxing so I'll do those shortly too I just made a little snack I've been loving this lately it's the three wishes cinnamon cereal and I love the cereal because it's grain free it has a ton of protein it has like way less sugar and it's made from like chickpea fiber or something I don't know it's so good so I just have that with some almond milk and I'm just working at my desk I told you guys I was gonna do some unboxings and I ordered from Thrive Market maybe like a week ago and I told you when I was vlogging that I would include it in one of my upcoming videos so I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of what I got from Thrive so I love their avocado oil and they were having a sale so I got four of them I use avocado oil like crazy when I cook and I just love this spray one and the reason why I like avocado oil is because it has a high smoke point so it doesn't turn like into bad fats whereas some other oils shouldn't be heated at high temperatures and when I'm cooking on the stove or in the oven avocado oil is a great oil for that so I got four of those because they're having a sale I got the no cheese cheesy lesser evil popcorn this flavor is always super hard to find my grocery store doesn't have it and I don't go to Whole Foods like too much so I got one of those and then I got two Simple Mills products. I think I'm going to make these in this video. We've been loving their banana bread and their pumpkin bread. I'm making them literally every video. So I saw the apple cinnamon and I had to get it because I love apple cinnamon so much. So we will make this maybe tomorrow, probably not tonight, maybe tomorrow night. And then the protein pancake mix, I also really love. And it's made from like all whole foods. So I picked up another one of those. I wasn't sure if my Wegmans sold it, but when I was there yesterday, I saw that they actually do sell it. So I could just do it there next time. But I like Thrive because it is a little bit cheaper. Like all of these seasonings and dressings and marinades that I got are so much more expensive on at the grocery store than they were on Thrive. So the grocery store, they're like seven or eight dollars. And on Thrive, they were a lot cheaper. So the one that I got was Primal Kitchen, the cilantro lime. I've never tried this one before. Again, love this brand for the simple, minimal ingredients. But yeah, I've never tried that before and we love cilantro. So I figured that'd be good. This I'm excited about to make in my coffee tomorrow. So my friend Stephanie bought this and she's been raving about it. It's organic infused maple syrup, cinnamon and vanilla. And I just had to have it. I was like, this in my coffee would be 10 out of 10. So I'm really excited to try that finally tomorrow. You guys will see my reaction. And then, yeah, like I mentioned, I got a bunch of the Primal Kitchen 
oil. So this is something I got for marinating chicken. It's just their Italian. And then I also got a steak sauce, which we brought out of town with us and we used. And it is so good. I really like A1. Like I love the taste of like a steak sauce, but I don't love the ingredients in A1 and I just won't buy it because it's just, I think it is high fructose corn syrup, I think. So anyways, I got the steak sauce from there. This is not it, it's in the fridge. And it's so good. So if you like steak sauce, but you struggle to find like a good one, get the Primal Kitchen one, cause it's bomb. And then this is the classic barbecue, organic and unsweetened. I've also never tried this one before too. So I'm excited for that. I got a lot of their sauces because I figured it'd be good for like marinating chicken and just like using them um, in my cooking. And then one more. I got four of them. No, I got five. I want, I want ham in the primal kitchen. The no soy teriyaki. Thought this would be great for my lettuce wraps. So we will try that as well. And then other than that, I just got these. These came as like a little free gift, the cauliflower tortilla chips. So we got those. And that's everything from Thrive. And then I also got a few other things in the mail. I'll show you. I have an addiction. But I have these on auto ship. <laughs> the, oh my god. Let's not kill myself with this. They're power curls. I have them on. Is it? What is it? Auto. Auto ship. Power curls because I love them so much. They're just so good and I love the little bags. I eat them every day. It's like a little snack. So I'll probably have some soon. And I just love them because they have 10 grams of protein per bag. And they're made with egg whites, avocado oil. You guys know the drill. I talk about these all the time. So I've got them on auto ship on Amazon because I have one every day. So instead of just like ordering them. And they don't sell them at my grocery store either. And again, I don't go to Whole Foods all the time. So that's another reason why I just get them online. Um, I have a discount code with Lesser Evil. Also, I work with them like on a monthly basis. So I'm gonna put it here, whatever it is. I think it's just Cassie Hampshire 20. Put it here. And then I got my monthly subscription from Smart Suites. So they're another brand that I work with on a monthly basis. And they sent over some goodies. Oh, the caramels. Smart Sweets is like my favorite healthy candy company. And so they sent, I actually haven't tried these yet, the lollipops. They sent them the last time and I forgot about them. And then I just found them the other day. And I was like, I have to try these. So I have two bags of those. They came out with caramels. And then I'd say my favorite things from Smart Sweets are these two. The gummy bears are my favorite, and then the Sour Blast Buddies kind of tastes like a healthy alternative to Sour Patch Kids, and those are my favorite candy growing up. And then Jolly Gems, haven't tried those. Those are probably like Jolly Ranchers. The Red Twists I like too. They're like healthier licorice, and then, oh, I like these. These are really good. I love these some gummy worms, and then Sour Watermelon Bites. We love those. What I don't like are the cola ones. I just don't like cola candy. So, if you like cola candy, you'll like those. I just don't really like them. These I like too, the peach rings. You can't go wrong with those. And then also, these are the sweet fish. So, thank you Smart Sweets for sending that. I also have a discount code with them. I will put it here. I'm not sure of what that is, but you guys know. I love me some Smart Sweets. When I was a little kid, I just loved candy. It was my favorite. And so now I feel like I can enjoy it without all the sugar and just like a healthier alternative. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to make like fall harvest bowls. I'm going to cut up squash. But I figured right now I should do this because we're going to have dinner in a few hours. I just got some chicken this morning from the grocery store and I'm going to put some of this dressing on it and then some of the rosemary and I'm going to let it marinate in here.
so dinner tonight i just cut up all these veggies and i'm doing like a fun harvest bowl so i just cut up a delicata squash half of this one and then i did um carrots and brussels sprouts for the spices i just did pepper salt italian seasoning some of this rosemary i thought that would be good and then some of this onion salt from trader joe's and then we are going to do this as the base. It's just the Seeds of Change organic brown rice with chia and kale. And then the chicken's in here. I'm gonna put that in the air fryer and I'll just create like a big bowl of it. I just got a very exciting new package in the mail. It's from Fable. I'll unbox it. I'm just in the middle of cooking right now, but I wanted to show you guys the box that I just got into the mail from Fable. I have been loving all of their um, like dinnerware and cups and everything. Everything that you see basically is from Fable besides these pink cups or these pink um, bowls. Everything else is from Fable. So I love their stuff and I'm working with them on a campaign, I think on TikTok. So they sent me over some other items and let's get them and open. I feel like this vlog has been like all unboxings today, <laughs> but it's okay. I enjoy seeing unboxings. Let's open it up. I love their dinnerware. It's just like so sleek and nice looking. And I just love how everything matches. This is really cute. It's a little vase. So I don't really have any like small thin vases like this. And it's like the speckled white. Super cute. I don't have anything like that. I'm going to keep that in here because I don't have any other to put it at this moment so i figure tomorrow i can do an unboxing for tiktok but i wanted to show you guys right now what it is and then also i got four more of the bowls that i use so i have like their little white bowls and i love them so much i use them so much i was like i need more of these because i just use them way too much so I don't know where those are, the breakfast bowls. Oh, they're right here. I was actually waiting for mugs, but I think those might be coming in a different shipment, the mugs. I don't know, I gotta see about that. But anyways, look at these cute little white bowls. I do not have these, but how cute, like for dips or condiments. I love those. And you'll see here, like a lot of my stuff is stable. Some stuff is Caraway, um, really? or no, some stuff is our place, actually. All the stuff that has like the pink elements to it, like these are the bowls that I was referencing. And I just love it. So those four little bowls are really cute. And then the breakfast bowls are in here. But the mug should be coming soon. But these are the bowls. So cute. I love them. They have like a little speckle and they're just beautiful. Love people. I have a discount code with them as well. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. Sorry about the discount code overload. And if you guys want to shop anything from Fable, you can. I love their stuff. I also have all of their silverware. And it's so cute. It's like the black matte silverware. And I use it all the time. So anyways, I'll do unboxing on TikTok tomorrow. My dinner is cooking. I'm waiting for Matthew to get home from work. He should be home in probably like a half hour. Which is, this is kind of late for him because it's almost 6 o'clock. And we're gonna have dinner and just hang out. And we've been watching this movie or this show called The Watcher on Netflix, and it's so good. Tonight's our last episode, it's the season finale. So I'm excited about that. And yeah.
morning guys this is a new angle i have you propped up in one of my cupboards right now but i just finished a little workout it's tuesday morning it's 8 05 right now and i took or i did a upper body workout this morning at just like the gym that i go to and it was really good i didn't film too much of it just because there was like so many people there so there wasn't like the best um area for me to film because i didn't want to get like everybody in it but it was a good workout i just got home i've just been like unloading the dishwasher and making breakfast i'm just making some eggs right now and i'm gonna work this morning but i just made my little egg scramble i've got some toast going you guys know the drill by now same breakfast i always have it's just two eggs and then egg whites and then i just do chicken sausage and broccoli and salt and pepper and onion salt cinnamon infused maple syrup so let's i think it's cinnamon vanilla infused maple syrup actually but let's do a taste test mm. oh it's very good it's subtle i feel like i might have not used enough let me try like a little bit more just like a dash mm, yeah it's so good Mm-hmm. If you guys have a Thrive Market membership, highly recommend to grab it. It's so good. I could tell that would be really good in like baking too. Love it. Guys, it's so nice out today. It's like literally 70 degrees. So I've been working inside. Hi buddy. Can we just take a moment? I'm obsessed. They're so cute. I've been working inside, but I'm like, why am I working inside? It's so nice out. I should work outside. I don't have any calls for like two hours. So I'm working on the patio for the next few hours because it's the end of October and it's absolutely beautiful out. 70 degrees, you could not ask for anything more. So I'm gonna just finish some work stuff here and then I'll head back in in a little bit. dinner tonight is going to be very basic i'm just snacking on some hummus right now with carrots and then these pretzels this brand sent me these pretzels and they're really good they're just like grain free the brand is saver by Susie, so i'm just snacking but for dinner tonight it's going to be very basic i'm just doing two pieces of salmon and then i'm going to use the no soy teriyaki from primal kitchen and then i'm just going to do some white rice and broccoli <music> for me, mom. Peace. Yum.
Thursday or Wednesday. I'm on a walk right now with Dash. I just brought my coffee to go and I'm listening to a podcast. I'm listening to Not Your Typical with Caitlin Nolan. And I usually work out on Wednesday mornings, but I just woke up today like so unmotivated. And this is something I've been struggling with since it's so dark in the morning. It's so hard for me to get out of bed when it's like six or seven or 5.30 at least. And it's just pitch black. Even like in the summer, if I were to get up at 6.30 or seven, like that would be kind of late for how I normally wake up. And today my alarm went off at 6.30 and it was pitch black and I was like, no, no, not today. And so now I'm kind of struggling because I work from home. So when I don't work out in the morning, Sometimes I just feel like cabin fever when I'm sitting inside all day, although I love my house and being inside. It's healthy for me and my mindset to get out in the morning, but today I just like was in this constant battle with myself, like, no, you should go, you're gonna feel so much better. And then also like, don't push yourself if you don't wanna go, like don't force something you don't wanna do. Cause I'm really trying to like listen to my body a little bit more and not be so harsh on myself at times because there's a difference when you need like a little motivation and a little kick in the booty and then also when you're just like being too hard on yourself and not listening to your body so I'm trying to find that balance in that sweet spot right now and yeah so anyways yes poop no anyways so I was just sitting down and I decided to come and do a walk instead, get out of the house a little bit. It doesn't have to be a workout. It could be something as simple as a walk and listening to a podcast, and that's what I'm doing. So this is your reminder to get outside, move your body just a little bit, even if it's not anything crazy. I'll just feel better, especially if you work from home. I know this helps my mindset a lot too. Just got back from our walk and I just fed Dash, but I wanted to show you guys this thing. So it's called a Mud Buster, and I'll have it linked in my Amazon favorites down below. But it is so cool. Look, he's got like so much energy right now. And it's the coolest thing ever. So basically, you put your dog's foot inside of there, his paws, and it cleans them. So you put some water down in the middle, and then you put a little bit of soap or shampoo. I just put some of his like body shampoo we always use in the shower. And you put his paws in them, and they come out clean, and then you just wipe them off. And then you kind of like use these bristles to get the dirt off, and it's a genius invention. My parents found it. So like I said, I'll link it down below. It works wonders. I'll show you what Dash's feet look like right now, or his paws. Hi, hey buddy, do you have foot on the walk? They're a little wet, but I dried them off, and they're just much cleaner. So highly recommend. I cleaned the kitchen, cleaned the house, have the little fireplace on. I'm gonna cook some breakfast and then start work. Hi guys, it's a few hours later now. I'm sitting at a red light right now. So I just have to be propped up in my dash. But I'm heading to grab dinner and get a movie or see a movie with my sisters. We're going to this place called Debolio in Buffalo. And then we're gonna go see the new scary movie Smile. And I'm excited. It's around 5.30 right now and I just finished work. I had a super busy day with work. I was on back-to-back -back calls literally all day. So I didn't pick up my camera literally once. And I had to take Dash to his new vet appointment today at three o'clock. Um, I did film some clips so I'll like input them here too. But he went to a new vet today. My friend Merritt had recommended this vet. And so I took Dash there and I really, really liked them. They were super friendly and nice and like super sweet to him. The vet that we were going to before was great but they were like 40 minutes away and originally we went to them because it was a friend of Matthew's and it was a good vet don't get me wrong but it was just too far like on a weekly or monthly basis and not that we take Dash to the vet that often but God forbid something happened I just want to make sure we have somebody local that I can count on so I'm really happy with this new vet which is great because I always feel like finding a new vet or a new doctor or anything is always challenging so Merritt, if you're watching this, two for two, she gave me a new groomer, a new vet, and I like them both, so we love that. I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat, and excited for the scary movie. I packed some snacks, I packed some popcorn, and some of the smart sweets that I actually took in the beginning, or I filmed in the beginning of this video, so I've got that in a bag, and we are ready to go. 
45 workout today was upper body and I did upper body on Tuesday but I took a rest day yesterday so I kind of have been doing a lot of upper body this week but tomorrow will be a lot of lower body and same with Saturday because I'm spinning so that's okay but it felt good to move today I feel like a low impact more chill and more slow space workout was exactly what I needed today I woke up yesterday like I mentioned with like no energy and then in the afternoon I got my period so I'm like okay that definitely explains like why my um, energy levels are like all over the place so I'm really glad that I listened to my body and I didn't force myself yesterday morning because it was cardio and it's like super high intensity and high impact and a lot of jumping and it's just like a lot on Wednesdays and I did not need that yesterday and I really didn't need that this morning either so anyways I'm glad I listened to my body and just did what felt good <laughs> this morning but I want I want a snack and I feel like Matthew ate my snack let me look three wishes cereal who's surprised <laughs> I love this cereal so much it's not like my mid-morning sweet tooth I always have a bowl of this between lunch and breakfast I always like have breakfast right when I get home from the gym because I'm usually really hungry and then I haven't been eating lunch until like two lately which is kind of late but I don't know I just usually have this in between and then I'll make lunch around like two it's 11 15 right now I've just been working on my computer on the couch it's like so cozy in here I have the fireplace going I have the candle lit I have my coffee I have autumn rainy cozy day coffee shop on YouTube and it's just all the cozy vibes over here I'm like man I am so grateful to work from home because if I had to go into an office every day well I wouldn't be having this it. 11 <laughs> cheers i think the last time i vlogged was me eating and here i am eating again but i am just made some lunch so i wanted to show you guys what i've made i've had a really busy day with work so i haven't vlogged at all but i just did kind of what i made the other night but i just did a ton of roasted vegetables and i did feta italian dressing quinoa chicken kind of like my normal bowl but i added cheese and dressing and it's really good. I am going to end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little weekly vlog. I didn't film all the whole week. I'm going to stop it today. It's Thursday. Just because I always have videos go live on Friday. And I want to make sure after work tonight I can finish editing this and uploading it. So that way I have a vlog going up tomorrow. And usually my vlogs take like a whole 
day or like I usually upload them overnight because they take forever to upload on YouTube. If you do YouTube, you know, but it takes literally hours. So that being said, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a few realistic days in my life. And I think I might start a new vlog tomorrow and do a little weekend vlog. So anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really supports my channel. I'm uploading twice a week. So hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.